I think everyone's worked really well together. Um, people have been like playing on each other's tracks, producing on each other's tracks, micing stuff up, and um, you know, it's just been a, a good, a really good sort of group dynamic, I suppose, and everybody working together and uh, trying to get something uh, finished off. And everyone's just in the in the music zone when you're here. No one's, you know, busy at home and all that. It's just all about music when you're here, so it's really good. So definitely do enough one here if the opportunity arose. Everyone's helped everyone out and I couldn't see it working any smoother to be fair. But I'd definitely do it again. Probably my favourite part the year probably is this is going to be. Okay, so what what's going on at the moment? We're waiting for John to arrive to let us in because we don't have the code. Um, <laughs> and we've just arrived at the barn. How long have you been here? Uh, roughly about seven minutes and thirty-four wow. seconds. <laughs> To be precise, if I do say so myself, it is freezing. I want to go home already. Oh, yeah. John, are we doing any recording today? Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Are we going to what? Are we doing any recording today? Uh, we're going to set up and get everything set up. So. Right. My name is Georgia, and the title of my song is Rainbow Scouting. Ian, what? All this stuff here, yeah. Let me put my phone down. That's just me um, channeling my onesie for you, Dave. Uh, my name's Connor, and my song is uh, right here, right now. <laughs> my name's Harvey, and my song is I Don't Speak Spanish. Uh, my name's Amit Gabuja, and I don't have a title for my name yet. So the plan for tonight is to set the drums up so maybe Fraser and Harvey could do that as the drummers make sense. My name is Fraser and I ain't got actually got a title for my song yet so still need to do that. We want to get the mic up and we want to get the sound checked <coughs> and a headphone mix set up. Caprice, I don't have to have on. It's a work in progress. Well, my name is Tom, and the title song is The Drinking Song. She's pretty self explanatory, really. So, I've taken off the front head of the bass drum so that the microphone can pick up the whole sound of the bass drum instead of just the noise that comes off of that. Musical name is Bethan Roberts and the title of my song is Just Me. Um, so today we had to do the drums. 
every drum had to be recorded, every drum for every track had to be recorded and like finalised. Main instrument gets sort of beat down, makes it easy I suppose to put music to it. We've got the kit set up for one day, which we're on today. We've gone for everyone's songs without lyrics yet, uh, just getting the drums right. Feeling went okay to be fair, it went a lot better than what I expected. Especially because I had a different sound in mind for my songs. And then when I, I didn't really think for it to be live instruments, I completely forgot, so I didn't plan around it. But I think it went pretty well, to be fair. I do feel like we we're way ahead of track, like we got done quicker than we thought we were going to get done. Like we thought we were going to be recording up until like one o'clock in the morning. It went pretty smooth. Uh, but there were times where like the background noise were coming in and the drum mics and we had to redo some of them. Yeah, we'll take it down to 70 now. One minute, how are you? Fraser, shut up. We're going to 70 in BPM now. Okay, bye. Tell her to be quiet. But, but you can't talk to George yet, because it's picking it up. If you need to, if you're going to talk, you need to talk really quietly. Yeah, you've got to talk really quietly, John said. Especially on the intro, because there's no doubt. Yeah, especially on the intro, he said. It's gone, it's gone good, and it's gone, it's gone on track, like, no mess, well, people messed up here and there, but nothing major. Everyone knows the songs and, you know, everyone's on it, basically. We started writing all the structures out on the whiteboard for the end song, so it just flowed a lot easier, easier, made it a lot quicker, so people just reading off the board for the like, charts. Oh, today there was a sheep stuck in the um, fence outside and someone had to go out and help get it unstuck. Now we're going to go do it, but... It my hands off, so I got on it to do it and lay it out. Saved a life. I didn't see that, but I had a really bad stare down with the shit with one of these sheep today, and then it barred at me, and that was that. I had to leave. <laughs> and they're all, it's like they were like crying for help. They all walked over to that one sheep who was stuck, and then they went and just unstuck his head, and then just off it went. That was real memorable, actually. And they all got stroking and stuff, but I didn't go nowhere near the sheep. I'm not touching the sheep. Uh, what do we get? Rhythm guitar's done, lead guitar's done, bass guitar's done, hopefully some keyboard on tracks, I need keyboard. If you don't need keyboard on it, then that's fine. Are you write your trumpet with you? No. So why did you yeah, I was like, really. Well, you've got it on the you can. I mean, when you're in the back, you have it on the other side, don't you? <laughs> Ready, Fraser? <sighs> All right, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was just finishing off his custom green. Today we're doing the guitars and the bass for all the songs. So we were getting in there, getting amp mic'd up, getting sound sounding right for the song and then just jamming through them until they sounded good really. Yeah, I think it went really well. Yeah, yeah. it did. We've got <clears throat> we've got uh, rhythm tracks down on nine songs. Yeah. So, uh, and lead as well. Took a while to get going, didn't it? Yeah. I think my, but, um, my song was quick, wasn't it? And then I think the first few were pretty quick, <coughs> weren't they? And after that, I think they... Well, yours took ages because I set the wires up, didn't it? But after oh, that, we were going. Yeah. Yeah. Once it was set up, it was, 
it was a uh, it took a little while to get settled, but I, think I thought mine had taken ages and not finished in like 10 minutes. If everyone contributed a lot and it made the songs sound more unique because different people playing different parts on different songs, like look, three different people playing bass on different songs, four or five different people playing guitars on different songs. So it made everything different to each other. Which is kind of the problem you get stuck in sometimes. Everything will sound the same because the same person's playing it. We got we got around that. So when we're recording on the rhythm track, there was a technical issue. That solo yeah. with Angelic as, as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have to do that again. That or the rhythm? Uh, not the rhythm. Just the solo have, again. Have we deleted that one? Yeah. Oh man. I think the most challenging thing was that I did not have an emotional connection and I still don't have an emotional connection to the song. Because it's not you, because usually I'd write songs about me or my past experiences, but this one, it's about someone else, so it, yeah, it's made it difficult. Writing the lyrics were the hardest part. Uh, under the floor. And I left it till the very last minute as well, just didn't help. Even just finding like stuff to talk about all together, just very hard. I, 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 I write a lot, so it wasn't, it wasn't difficult for me to do it really, because I write a, a, a lot of songs. But, um, I tried writing a really good riff for this one though, because I don't usually do that. So that was probably the most challenging part. Mm -hmm. Today's the last day, um, so we've got a few bits left to do. What we're going to get done is um, as much keyboard as we can, because we've got uh, Nick, the keyboard whiz, on his way. He should be here soon. So what we need, what we'll set, we can set the keyboard up in the boys' room because we don't need to, we don't need to ha use a microphone on that. We can just di, di it straight in. We also need to set up a vocal mic somewhere to do some vocals, maybe this afternoon. Because singers generally prefer singing <coughs> in the afternoon rather than in the morning. Okay, right, that's good. So you want maybe for the ending, maybe still stay down there. Do you want the piano to do a little pickup in that gap? Or do you... <laughs> you're supposed to. I'm giving you two options. It's like fifty-fifty. Yeah, but what, your 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 professional professional. I would probably put something in the pickup personally. Put something in the pickup, please. That's what I mean. Okay, so then we're going to the next section, and do you want me to do like a a bluesy bit for the first half, and then something more melodic for the second, or do you want it all bluesy, or do you want it melodic, or do you want it more chords? So I'm playing chords. Start off blues and then melodic, is that a good answer? Okay. Uh, the so, answer, there isn't a correct answer, is yeah, there? Yeah, but what would you rather do? What would I rather do? It's not my song, so I yeah, can't decide. Your, your teacher hat, what would you say for me? Influences from my song were, uh, it's, it's pure Oasis, I'm not going to lie. Because um, from a band outside of college, you don't really get a chance to uh, write a full song like that, because we try to stay away from it. Because I don't want to get known people that say that we sound like them, so I wanted to write a song that fully sounded like them. Well, it started off when I was writing it, it was going to be more like country rock type style, but as we worked on it a bit, it became a bit more kind of rock and rolly. I don't know if personification is the right word, where you make like a rainbow person, um, so you can use like loads of personification, so I just thought it would be nice because you can talk about it in loads of different ways. To be fair, I didn't really have much inspiration because it just kind of, it's the only song that I've written completely that I had no sort of connection to, but I think probably it's something from Misha, like, you know, part, you know, with, and the friends that I have and stuff like that and their past relationships, so I kind of just use that from what I've seen and kind of, yeah, put it into a song. Um, my influences is like a Latin kind of song. 
like um, Santana and um, and Gypsy Kings maybe and it's about going to Spain and then being really rude and then not speaking the language and that's it If you don't mind that I'm out of time I swear this should never happen again Same every weekend it has to end Spain, the place is new to me. Spain, a place I've never been. I've been to different places, but do new, new, Turn it breathing down, yeah. I'm breathing in my skin. Spanish. Ah, uh, you <laughs> Yeah. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Today we have been laying down vocal tracks, trumpets, and keys. We came and did the keys today. Well, we were up pretty late last night, so we didn't get to the. Uh, we got up at about half ten, eleven today, and then the recording went back. So we took probably a bit longer than we should have done today, but that were. I were in bed till about half ten anyway, so. Spain! Spain! Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I think the week has been great. I think everybody's no one's fallen out. You don't I don't think you wanna take it too serious. Otherwise people start arguing and shit. I think it's more productive than I thought it would have been. I didn't think we'd get all, get through all songs. They're all finished. Almost. I think it's been it's been good that we've done it in f like come here to do it in four days rather than go spend five week of, in college. So obviously you get more time when everybody's here. Uh, so I think it's gone really well. No, no, fucked up really. I don't think we'd have been able to do that at college. So it's fantastic. <laughs> if I had the choice to record again, like this, I'd definitely do it. It's better when well, you're working on on your tracks with with everyone and you're all together all week and then. Everyone just gets an understanding. Everyone's helped everyone out, and I couldn't see it working any smoother, to be fair. We've discussed it how good it will be to go and record his own, like the, my, my actual band stuff, in a place like this, you know, go away for a couple of days and do it, get his equipment and stuff like that. So I'll definitely do it again. Probably my favourite part of the year, probably, is this is going to be. There's not a lot of distractions, so you get more done because be focused on the task at hand. Oh, I'd definitely do another one here. Because it's, it's, you get everything done in one short period of time, otherwise it's spread out over a few months. You forget what you've done, and then it's, it's hard to do it. And everyone's just in the, in the music zone when you're here. No one's, you know, busy at home and all that. It's just all about music when you're here, so it's really good. So I'd definitely do another one here, if the opportunity arose. Oh yeah, that definitely comes from my like this to record music in the future. It's, it's, it's a nicer environment, you can, it's more relaxed than even say like a proper music studio because you can go out and chill out for a bit and do whatever when you're not working. Fuck. You no. need to, you need to, you'll need to flip it, lads. Fuck! Oh, no, that one! Man's got traps in that metal pit. No, I reckon we just want to
weet het wel, komt er niet eens bij na. Hij heeft veel video, maar ja. Yeah. What is it you're trying to do? <coughs> just play the fucking song. Just keep What's doing that and the disco overload oh, bullshit. Right. Chill out. Yeah. It's because you've got loads of effects on that. It's a fucking green in a minute. So to enhance the song when I get back, I'm a very big, big fan of messing with effects and not necessarily in guitars but vocals. I think guitar wise and uh, drums and all that, they'll probably just get the usual mix, you know, make it sound better. And, more professional than that, I'll just get the usual mix, but to maybe change, not change the sound, but to try give it some more, some more spices. Probably mess around with effects on vocals and that, because I'm a big fan of you know, like weird effects on vocals and stuff like that. So that's the only thing that I might experiment with. The rest of it will just get, you know, finished off per se. I'm trying to get this hi-hat sounding nice as well, because it's not sounding good to my ears. Round where? Round here? Oh, yeah. Sounds like, um, yeah, like it's interrupting everything else, if that makes sense. You know, it drums. Sounds like it's okay. like that's all you can hear, kind of thing. That's a tricky question because I wouldn't really know. I'd have a listen to it first and then because when you're putting stuff on, you, you, you listen to it too, you say, oh, it's alright because the vocals are right. And you listen to it, listen to it again now and see what's missing, if you know what I mean. So I'm probably going to have to listen to it a few more times and then think, look at, look for mistakes or bits that need patching and sound differences and sort it out later. I turn the volume down on one but put loads of pedals on it. So it's just like echoing through the other one. But it's, it's taken a while to get, get the levels right because it's... Didn't want it to be too loud, but, but you still need to know it's there, if you know what I mean. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. You like this one? No, put it away. Usually you'll like this. You like that one? I'm gonna put some percussion in, a few cowbells and some bongos and a tambourine maybe, and mess with the um, the mix. Put some reverb on vocals and all that good stuff. I think if I can figure out how to do it. I put some weird shit on mine. On my, you know, on the bridge where it goes. Ah, I've got like a backing vocal bit doing it with me, but I've just made that like a better effect on it. So it's so weird. <laughs> That sounds weird enough with our album. <laughs> I'm putting reverb on it. And. But I can't really tell the difference. <laughs> Hopefully it'll sound like good a little bit. I want a lot of harmonies within the song. Um, a lot of back, back backing vocals and like a cool feel to it. I don't want a ballad. I want like a like a bit of a smooth feel to the song. Turned out well, it sounds like really clean stuff. I thought it would be like muffled and everything it sounds like it's everywhere and stuff, but it doesn't. And like, the, the vocals sound really clean as well, like with the reverb on it and stuff. But then everybody else has had their little fingers to it, which has made it sound a bit better. I went, everyone shouted Spain and then before that. And then we were going to put a trumpet solo in it. Nick did all these things with his hands on the piano. And in the, the 
the way that the words came out came out differently in my head, but then when George it sang it, it sounded better. So it sounds better than the version of my head, basically. Apart from my own, the favourite song I enjoyed working on was probably Georgette, uh, simply because I mean, the, the riff that uh, I came up with for her song, yeah, it literally I literally played it just messing about, and it was like it's like so easy, but it just fit right well. Favourite song to, to play on? Well, probably Fraser's, because it was like, it was proper weird. And it, it was really good. Everyone out like it before, it was really good. So I enjoyed Fraser's probably the most. And it sounded really good in the end as well. The Fraser's. I liked. I drummed on a Tom track, which is a pretty upbeat track, so that's good to drum on. I enjoyed I enjoyed doing that with Tom. And then uh, Harvey's were good because of how unique it was, and there were loads of offbeat stuff. And obviously, I enjoyed working on my own because it's just good to see it build up. Georgette's really good to play on. Georgette's song really good to play on. Uh, just doing the open picking patterns and some little funky chord patterns and stuff like that. It's a bit, bit different. Harvey's a little funny. And everyone together and everyone took part and everyone sang bits.
so well done everybody, you've done, you've done really well. It's been a really good project, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we don't have to play those songs again. Woo!